Hello my dears. So if you follow me on Instagram and happy day to you wherever you are. If you follow me on Instagram, I just posted some images of these protein pancakes that I am whipping up right now in my kitchen of magic and love and joy and health and lean body mass and sexy, healthy, fit physiques. And they're pretty much at the final stages. So I just want to take you along for this finalization phase. This is the first batch and let's flip you around. So these are already, this is the first batch and oh, 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 they are so dancy. So one and little baby one there. Here we go. There we are. And chef d'orchestre, pièce de résistance. Oh, oh, let's see, let's see. I feel like this one is a little bit, ah, there it is. Okay, so that's it, friends. So these are, this is the first batch of my protein pancakes, and I'm going to just leave it at that for now because I'm going to just have a bite as they're warm before I go to the gym to train some muscles. So today I'm not doing, oh, oh, at least I can see my bicep, but I am, what am I doing today? I'm doing some abs and I did legs yesterday. My lower body needs some rest. So I'm going to perhaps do some back abdominals and stretching but abs seem to be really uh, engaging for me. Like, of course, I'm always working on them. And maybe I'll do some triceps because yesterday I did biceps. So that could be a plan, right? Abs and triceps, not shoulders, not, not um, biceps because we did that yesterday. But in any case, these are the protein pancakes that I have just created and as you can see they are on the scale of love and not the scale of justice but the scale of well-being and the reason that I do that is because then I can take the portions and I know like the final batch so this is a hundred and three so I'm just gonna note that down as batch one. And if you want to see my notes, let me show you this. So these are the ingredients we've got here. So um, you can disregard that because that is about something else completely. And so um, that's that. So we've got here the ingredients that I added. October 2nd, Friday weekend, and yeah, these are the ingredients. I have not been vegan these past two months, um, so this is why I'm consuming these eggs. This is raw protein powder, which is here in my cabinet. I'll show you. This is one protein powder that I'm using. I love this one. I used it years ago. And it's my preferred one. It's unflavored, so it has no fillers, no chemicals, no added flavors, no soy, um, nothing like that. Um, then this one also pumpkin protein I really like. Also clean source of protein powder um, in my opinion. These are my, my beloved fruits, which I had to sort of ease off of when I started consuming... Um, some animal proteins because the animal proteins have more fats and then I need to balance out the carbs and sugars that I'm consuming in the day. And then this is, um, I added about 13 grams of half a serving of this raw fiber, which I really like. It thickens up when you add uh, water to it. And yes, I added the dark chocolate, which I showed you in my Instagram pictures and I added two tablespoons of monk fruit, which is erythritol. And this is my current preferred non-caloric sweetener. It's monk fruit and erythritol. So um, I, I'm enjoying it. I recommended it to my colleagues. 
and I am using that. And for the pancake mix, this is the rest of my my uh, ingredients cabinets for the pancake mix. I am really appreciating this one, uh, Bob's Red Mill Seven Grain, and I really really like it because it's pre-made pancake mix and it has pretty good macros and it has good fiber, five grams of fiber for one serving, one gram of fat, two sugars total, and seven grams of protein for one fourth cup. And this particular batch, uh, the total batch, had about um, two servings, so 80 grams, 280 calories, and I added one whole egg, two egg whites, and I'll show you as well in the fridge the remainder of the wet mixture so I still have this one I'm gonna let it thicken further in the fridge so when I come back from the gym and I have more time I can just make the remainder of them all right and I also added this one I love this uh, plant milk rice drink with coconut vegan and gluten-free and I added 53 milliliters just because that's what came out and the ingredients I I only buy the plant milks that have no emulsifiers no other chemicals this one is excellent it's just spring water Italian rice coconut cream and sea salt and no added sugars so this is what I aim for and I buy the small containers because when I, I don't drink too much of these milk uh, any kind of like non-water type beverages um, I noticed that when I buy the bigger uh, the bigger containers like one liter of almond milk or oat milk my other favorite um, I don't tend to finish it uh, very quickly so unless I do consume it immediately like within seven days then it goes it spoils and then either I have to freeze it in smaller containers in my freezer so that it stays or I have to throw it out so I'd rather I do freeze it but sometimes it just spoils too soon and I don't make it to the point of being able to freeze it so yeah and I'll show you something nice also that I added I added this golden milk combo I added one serving of this golden milk which I'm really enjoying and it's very nice it has fermented organic ginger and turmeric with um, some black pepper and probiotics and I did make an exception in this in buying this because it does have organic flavors which I prefer to not buy anything with added flavoring including natural flavors because they're not really natural they're just like chemical components but I figured this one the good outweighed more of that one negative aspect um, or, or like yeah just that that con I guess it had more pros than cons so yeah that's what we did I added one serving of this and it's a very small it's like one teaspoon and I think that was it as you saw and the dark chocolate <laughs> now I can't seem to accommodate this container and the dark chocolate that we use 99% from Lint let me shake that this one yeah six grams and then I grinded it in the coffee bean grinder which actually I use my little grinder tool for uh, my spices and then this is another protein powder that I've recently bought it was on sale and of course I like it because it had the added flavoring of chocolate <laughs> again another exception I'm trying to not make too many exceptions in this regard because it can be a slippery slope again this one the good outweighed more of the slightly pejorative qualities if you choose not to have vanilla flavoring or stevia I don't consume stevia on its own or in any added products unless it comes in this form um, so yeah so that's it friends and finally finally I think this is finally organic carob powder I added about six grams of this too this is a substitute for chocolate it has some fiber and it's a plant source and it's raw and I like it as well 
and it does give it like a sort of chocolatey but not really chocolatey flavoring thickness and that's it this is decaf coffee and chicory uh, right oh I could have added some vanilla I have vanilla extract here but next time next time I think I added plenty of flavor in any case and that's it so pancakes and protein pancakes and then the reason that I note down the ingredients I then will track the um, calories and macros for each one in my fitness pal creating my own recipe and I will then know in the final product how much is the um, total amount and then divide it into smaller servings for myself and enjoy. So that's it for now. Our pancake journey and foray it continues. They smell nice. They came out unburnt. So I'm happy and satisfied with them. Very proud. And um, yeah going to be good for my energy in the gym too. So that's it. Sending you lots of love, joy, and well-being. Have a fantastic happy day. It's our weekend today in Dubai. So make it a wonderful day. Enjoy your day and sending you lots of love, peace, and bright blessings. See you soon. Check me out on Instagram, on YouTube, Facebook, I like to share different kinds of media across the different platforms. It keeps life fun spicy, interesting, diverse, and engaging. Love you all. Take care and sending you lots of gratitude. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.